Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from LearnAutomation.com. Today we are going to discuss soft assertion in TestNG, or you can say in Selenium. In the last video, we already discussed what is hard assertion, or you can say normal assertion in TestNG. So we'll discuss what is soft assert and how to implement assert in uh, scripts. So the soft assertion, as the name says, soft. It means if any validation fails, it will continue the rest of the script. And once your script complete, then it will fail the test. It means it will not terminate your program, but even if single validation fails, it will show failure in the report. That is we are supposed to do, right? It's because if validation is failing, we have to make sure that our test case uh, mark is failed. So we need to call one method called assert all uh, while implementing soft assert. So I will show you in the direct program. So this soft assert is a separate class. So we have assert class and soft assert. To use this soft assert, we have to create object and we have to use it. So we'll discuss in the Eclipse. And the good part about soft assert, it does not terminate your program if validation fails. So depends on your requirement, you can use which assert to use and this is most important question in interviews as well like what is the difference between hard assert and soft assert so hard assert even if one validation fails it will stop your uh, execution and terminate the application but in hard assert it will continue the rest of the execution so let's go back to eclipse and uh, in the last example I created a fresh package called assertion demo. I will create a new class called soft assert demo. So here I will create one separate test case called test soft. And I will use annotations of testng. So here I will say uh, soft assert assertion equal to new soft assert. We need to create object of soft assert class. So now if you put mouse over here, it will ask you please import soft assert that is coming from testng now assertion dot assert equals let's say actual was told expected 13 and to perform soft assertion we need to call one method called assert all so until you don't call assert all this will be uh, not valid to make sure it is not terminating my program I will say test one started test completes so in this case if this particular validation is failing obviously it is failing because expected was 12 and uh, actually still expected is 13 it will fail but it will execute my statement it will set test complete and it will fail my test if I do the same thing for hard assert so you you need to refer my previous video where we discussed what is hard assert and I need to import this from test ng so this is hard assert it will check if 12 equal to 13 if not then it will fail my test and it will not execute this particular statement okay so let's run this test and check how it works in soft assertion it will continue with this but in hard assert it will not run this so 
so you can see even though both tests are failing right but in the first test it is saying test is started test closed even though it is failed but here it does not say test 2 completes so if you check the console it says test 2 started but test 2 not completed but test 1 is started and closed so the moral of the story both assertion are same only soft assertion will continue with the test so whatever uh, uh, different type of assert we have in hard assert same you will find in a soft assert as well let's say if I need to print a message like count doesn't match it will print this also okay so the remaining uh, flavors that we discussed in the last video will be same so if you have not visited the previous video it is highly recommend to uh, refer the hard assert we do then only you will get to know the real difference and the different kind of flavors we have and that's all I have for this video and yeah one last time don't forget to add this assert on if you don't add this it will not perform as expected so please add this once you're done with your soft assertion that's all I have for today so in case if you have any doubt just drop me an email and comment in the comment section if you have any feedback or any other issue that's all uh, thank you so much have a nice day bye bye